back to my YouTube channel. So this is gonna be a little makeup tutorial. I've wanted to film one of these for a really long time, but I just never got the chance. Currently, it's like 6.20 in the evening. <laughs> and the reason I'm doing my makeup right now is because I'm gonna be going to the movies with my friends and I have to get there by seven. So I don't have a lot of time, but it's okay. I'm just gonna, it's really quick. Also, my bathroom is so echoey. I'm hoping like it doesn't sound bad on the video, but let's make this. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna clip up my hair with these little um, clips I got in Japan. I just never unboxed these, and I just thought this would be the perfect time to use these. And these are like the cutest things I've literally ever seen. Look how cute they are. Okay, anyways. So I'm just gonna clip up my hair so nothing gets in the way. Also, the movie we're watching is Mission Impossible, part one, I think. Um, I've actually, I think it's been out for a while, but yeah. And also, I'm going with two friends, but since it's out, been out for a while, like nobody really wants to go watch it. We have the whole theater to ourselves. Like there's literally just three seats that are taken. And that's us getting into the makeup. Um, this is my little team bag. I got this for free. But like, it's actually cute, so I'm not mad. And it's also pretty good quality. So yeah, I just got this off team. Um, first up, I'm gonna go on with this little primer. This is the e.l.f. Powerpoint Primer. This is like really good. I really like this. And this is the pink one, which it has 4% nice in my mind. So I just, just put it on my cheeks and then on my forehead a little bit and then just blend it in with my finger. Most stuff I kind of just like blend it with my finger because I just find that easy. Moving on, what do I do next? Also, sorry for the bad lighting. It's like. Next up, I'm gonna do my brows quickly. I just use this Patrick Ta brow gel. Um, not sure if this does anything, but it does. Kind of, it's like a sticky liquid thing. And it does kind of like align my brows. So I just go up and then I bring it all down like that. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I use this uh, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer by IT. And this is really tiny because it's like the mini one, but I've been using this for a couple months now and it still like hasn't gotten any less. I really like this because compared to other concealers, it's really full coverage and I just use this for my under eyes, so it's perfect. So I kind of just put some out on my finger and then just go like that and then I let it sit for a couple minutes until it's dry. Okay, just like that. And then while I'm waiting for that to set, I'm gonna go in with this blush which is like, um, this is from the brand Facio, and I got this in Japan. And this is in the shade 03, and that's what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure they don't sell this in America. So, as like a substitute, you can use this milk blush. It's basically the same thing. The shade is a little bit pinker. This is in the shade Flip, but it's kind of the same thing. It's just like a stick blush. Basically, I use a brush to put it on my face because I realize like that's really good for you and putting, the stick directly on your face isn't that good for your skin. So, this also has a little bit of glitter on it, which I don't know if I like or not, but it's fine. So, I just like put it on here, and then I just start putting it on my face. So basically the shape I like to make is I put it on top of my eyelid, and then I go like that, and then I put them on my nose, and I just go like that, if that makes sense. So yeah, I kinda just, that and it also takes a lot of the product for it to like go on because this is not a very pigmented blush. Okay, and then I like doing blush on my nose because I think it makes it look really like cutesy and effortless. So it's super fun. I feel like I put way too much on. I look scary. I look so scary. Okay, it's okay. But also the brush I use is the one from Too Cool for School. It's really nice, I really like this brush. I'm gonna blend in my concealer now. I kinda just blend it in like, I blend it in like, I don't really think about where I'm blending. And at this part, I literally always say this when I look like a ghost, like I look scary. Like, do I see that? So, in order to like make me look less scary, I go in with this Perry Para palette. Look how pretty that is. I'm scared to like mess it up, but I've had it for a couple months now. My friend gave it to me, and this is O2, because I know there's two different palettes, but this is the O2 one. And I take this Too Cool for School brush. I go in with 
this shade to like the second darkest one. I used to go in with the darkest one, but then they make me look like I have eye bags. So I use this to do my under eye. Then I just draw a line. I already do have like a line, but I just want to make it more visible. So yeah. This is my little under eye line. And that's like my one of my favorite parts because it makes my like my whole face come together. I think next up, I just, um, I curl my lashes with this lash curler. This is the Shiseido lash curler. And oh my god, guys, this literally saved my whole life. Um, I got this in Japan. And yeah, I think they sell this on Amazon. But like, it's so good for Asian lashes because for me personally, my lashes go straight like this. And I've used a lot of like American curlers, but they just don't work for me. And then I found this and it curls my lashes like instantly. So I'm going to show you guys how I curl them. Usually... I used to, like this is like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I used to curl them like just once at the very bottom. And then from the side, that makes it look like it's like, you know? So my mom taught me how to properly curl them. So basically you start from the very root and you try to get all the hairs and then you just press it a bunch and then you slowly go up so it curls the whole eyelash. I'm scared to like use my lash curler too much because I feel like my lashes are gonna come out. But do you guys see that? Ah! Ah! I hate when I pinch my like skin with the lash curler. I always feel like it's harder to curl with this eye because my lashes are shorter. Then I go in with this two lash super food mascara. This is so good too. I got this. I think at Olive Young in Korea, but you can also get this on Yes Style or like the Olive Young site. But this helps my lashes stay like the whole day. Like I will have my mascara on the whole day of school and it's my lashes still look good by the end of it. So I really like this. This is a long curling one. So it doesn't give that much volume, but it does give the length. So if you guys can see, this side is curved and that side is like straight. So I go in with the straight side. Okay, and then after I'm done with the straight side, I go in with the curved side and I just do like the tips. Okay, anyways, that's what my lashes look like. And then I just do the other side. Mascara is definitely one of my favorite steps of my makeup routine. I only have like a couple steps left, but next up, I go in with highlighter. And I use this Jumbo Mix highlighter. I've been using this for like the longest time ever. Like it's slowly dying away, but this is in the shade Cottage Cheese. And the difference, don't get the milk one, get the cottage cheese one, because the cottage cheese one has a glitter inside, so it's better. I kind of just like um, draw a straight line here, and I do a little dot. And that helps with also like contouring, and it makes you look like you have a little button nose. I think I won't put way too much. I go in with this color, because this can be used as a highlighter. And then basically, I go in with this highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes. And this step is always fun when I'm scared I'm gonna ruin my eye palette. I go on my inner corner like this. Also guys, I am not a pro at makeup. This is just because the inspo for like kids in the same grade as me or younger. But um, yeah, don't follow me if you're like a professional because I don't really know how to stuff I'm doing. Last step, I go in with this hologram lip tint. This is in the shade 90. And I also got this at Olive Young in Korea. I don't know if you can get this in America. I'm definitely gonna link all the products below so you can try to find it, but my lip naturally doesn't have that much color. So I basically just go here. I go in the inner corner. I just go like that. And then I spread it out with my finger. Okay, and then that doesn't give me any of the glow. So, or like the shine. So I go in with my Dior lip oil. This is what my grandma got for me last my last birthday and I've been using this like all the time but this is in the shade cherry and I just go in I like this I know people like kind of hate on this lip oil but I like the smell like it smells minty okay that is done with my makeup tutorial and I'm just gonna put some setting spray on all right last step I put some setting spray on this is just like a random one I bought in Japan but this is a make cheap mist from Kosei I don't know if it's good because I only started using setting spray like a month ago. Okay. I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna unclean my hair now. Why do I like not feel different? I feel like you can't really see on camera, but like, okay. This is what my makeup looks like. 
And I will see you guys next week for another video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this can help some of you out to like beginners and just like middle average middle school makeup. So yeah, I hope this helps you and I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye team!